This is an instructional video for the Roth & Bueller Engineering Model 1685 remote firing device. In this segment, I'm going to go over a couple of the advanced features to include the mesh network capability, as well as how to adjust the transmit power from the controller. And for this video, I have these test lamps attached so that when I fire these remotes, you can get a visual idea or display of what's happening with the remotes when they go. And a quick recap on the mesh network. Obviously, the system has the ability for the controller and the remotes to have point-to-point -point communication. So if I'm trying to talk to remote number one with the controller, it's going to talk directly to that. What the mesh network is, is the ability for each of the other remotes to act as a repeater. So if I'm trying to communicate with one remote that's maybe outside of the range capabilities or there's other geographical or man-made features that's obstructing my RF, and not let the signal get through, each of these other remotes, as long as they are turned on, will act as a repeater to get that signal from the controller to that remote that I'm trying to communicate with, which is a really nice feature, which really opens up the possibilities and distances and uh, environments that you can utilize the system in. Now this uh, mesh network comes from the factory, default condition is turned on, but the end user does have the ability to turn that feature off. Why might we want to turn that off? Um, there are very limited circumstances, but if you needed to, and the only real instance I can think of that you might want to turn it off is if you have two shots that you want to be as synchronized as possible. Now with electronics and in remote firing devices, there's no guarantee or absolute way to make sure they, all, they are completely 100% synchronized because there's so many factors at play with this. But when with mesh network, you have a condition known as latent redundancy. So since one remote might be talking to another remote and the controller is talking to that remote, you might have more of a likelihood of having a, a delay or jitter of the lights going on, which I'll demonstrate here, see if we can see it. I'm going to arm them all up, and my intent is I'm going to fire them all at the same time. And we're going to pay attention to the lights to see if they all go off at the same time or if there's a little bit of uh, jitter between any of them. As you can see, there was kind of a noticeable jitter between these guys going and number one going. So again, there's no way to completely eliminate that, but if I want to at least reduce that, that might be a circumstance I want to turn the mesh network off in. The way I do that is I turn the controller off. To go into mesh network programming mode, I hold down number five while turning it on. In programming mode, you see that green light next to the number five, green means mesh network is on, red is off. To change that, I press disarm. That's going to cause that light to flash, mean it's selected into program mode. I press number five again. That light is now flashing red. To lock that in, I press status. I got a solid red light, meaning the mesh network is turned off. I turn the controller off and back on. Now that mesh network will stay off until I go back in in that same programming sequence, turn it back on. I'm going to press status to communicate with all my uh, remotes here. I'm going to arm them all up, and I'm going to fire them with mesh network off to see if I'm a little more synchronized. Again, there's no way to guarantee that I'm going to get them all 100% synchronized, but this should be closer. Okay, firing. As you can see, they were noticeably a lot more synchronized. Again, that's about the only instance I can think about wanting to change or turn that ability off because it is such a great feature to have mesh network. The second thing I said I was going to talk about is how to adjust your transmit power. The controller has three different options that are adjustable by the end user as far as the transmit power. A tenth of a watt, a half a watt, and a full watt. Now the difference between that is obviously the higher strength transmitter, um, you could conceivably be get better distance or range from your controller to your remotes. And the higher the, uh, the figure could also have some play on the battery. So a tenth of a watt is going to use a less amount of the battery, but it may not have quite the power or the transmit uh, capabilities that, say, a full watt would have or even a half a watt. Now, these come from the factory programmed at the full one watt uh, transmit power. We have found that there is negligible difference in battery consumption um, in, in having that. But say you do want to change it, here's how you do that. 
is you turn it off. And transmit power programming is holding number one down while turning it on. Okay? And this light is going to be in one of three locations when you go into transmit power mode. One is a tenth of a watt, two is a half a watt, and three is a full watt, again, which is the default setting on this. Now say I want to, let's change it to a tenth of a watt. I press disarm to cause it to flash. I press number one for the tenth of a watt, and to lock that in, I press status. And I turn it off and back on. And much like the other sequential firing mode programming, that will stay in that setting until I go back in and change it the way I just did, which is what I'm going to do because I like to leave it on the full watt. And I turn it off, number one, while turning it on. Disarm to make that light flash, to make it uh, selectable. Go back to a full watt. And just for demonstration purposes, if I try to push any of these other buttons on here that are not options, nothing's going to happen. The only options I'm going to have is one, two, or three. And again, I'm going to leave it at three, which is the full watt. Status lock it in, then off and on. And that is how you adjust the transmit power and turn the mesh network on and off. Thank you much.